Pirates of Part 3, I just want to show you guys, was, um, so I wanted to bring a main focus point too, some neat little stuff, some how to's and stuff that I've done. Um, some good tips and everything that I would say, because I've been asked by a lot of people and stuff, and I just want to put it out there on YouTube, and you guys can check it out and see everything, was, uh, like road signs and poles and stuff like that. So, good point I want to bring across too is the poles. And what I did was I went out and I bought these railroad line poles. These things, pretty, pretty accurate. What I did was they come in like a package of like 10. So what I did was I used the poles themselves. I cut out all that crap wire that they give you. And I put the poles and I cut them in half. And they give you these like three prong uh, holders and everything for the wires. I said, yeah, I'm not really going to use that all, so I only need singles for just for my little show. And I'll put easy wire in too. So what I did was I cut them in half. Now you're doubling the amount of poles, so you're actually end up with, with 20 poles. And you know you can use all these different types of poles. Like for here, this is actually railroad uh, radio poles, and these are actually electrical poles because it's going to come in it's going to be poles over here and come to a secondary that will go to the barn where the transformers are that power the barn so you can check that out too it was pretty easy stuff I also did this tile grout road here this was uh, pretty easy take a uh, take a flat blade anything um, and just put it down mix it up put it down paint it up it's pretty good when you're done with it as well as uh, some sanding, sand in there for some dirt roads. Uh, highway signs are really simple too. Print them off online. You get a nice like curved road and uh, US 101 sign. Um, you guys can check that out. As well as I got another one over here. Got a uh, Route 78 and an arrow and Route 2 over there pointing that way. As well as a uh, Morrisville sign and a White River Junction sign. I know the words suck because the camera's not high def, but sorry about that. Um, and I've been working on a few little other projects too, so just want to show you guys what I've been doing. I also got this GP40-2W. This thing is super, super detailed. Not really great on my layout, maybe because it turns and everything, but I still love the engine. It's definitely worth the money. So it doesn't have sound. I'm going to install it later on. I have my own custom sounds and tsunamis that I'm going to do later on to it and really bring out the sound like a Canadian national unit. Um, but there's not really much added detail you can really do to it, just weather them up and uh, I just add like a little flag there and stuff. Just want to do the grade crossing flags, but uh, that's about it, guys, for this section.